And then real quick, I had Matt Sarah on the show, your boy. Um, always a great time. Love Matt Sarah. He's so fun. The best. He's the best. And he actually told me that he got into it with Fabia. And then it was on looking for a fight. I had to go back and watch the episode. I missed it. I can't believe I missed that episode because I watch your show all the time. And it shows the episode with him and uh, Fabia when he was like, uh, this is the moron or whatever else. And so he talked about that, sh uh, that whole situation. And then obviously Fabia uh, broke up with Diego. It was like a bad relationship. And then just started spilling the beans on Diego saying he's like on steroids and, you know, obviously all this weird shit that he shouldn't be airing out. Let me tell you this. D Diego Sanchez... When he fought for the UFC, which was up until what a few weeks ago, was under USADA, was tested by USADA. Yeah. So for this guy to come out and say, I mean, look at look at the, what this guy does, uh, Mister Fucking Self Awareness, and all he does is comes out and starts fucking you know talking shit about people, and now he's going to turn on Diego Sanchez and say bad stuff about Diego immediately. Listen. The only thing that Diego Sanchez is guilty of is being a really nice guy. And listen, Diego, you know, you lived in a house with Diego for fucking two months. Diego's a little out there, okay? Yeah. He's, 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 he's not a, 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 on the same, you know, wavelength as, as most of us. He's a little out there, but make no mistakes. Diego Sanchez is one of the nicest people you will ever meet. He's a good person. Um... Diego uh, was never, you know, Diego had this whole thing that he couldn't get a hold of me for two months. Mike, you just said it. You wanted me on the show. You reach out, you, you know, like I, and, and everybody knows. I've made it very clear how I feel about the kids from the first season of The Ultimate yeah. Fighter. And that's all of them. I still talk to Bobby Southworth. Me and Bobby text all the time. Me and Josh Koscheck had a falling out a couple years ago. And let's be honest, Koscheck's a dick. Yeah. We all know that, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. But if Koscheck called me tomorrow and needed me, I would I would be there for Koscheck. Yeah. Okay, and the list goes on and on. The only thing that Diego is is guilty of is is being a nice guy, and because he's into some of that shit, whatever that shit is that that Fabia dude is into, um, you know, this whole thing made Diego look bad. But Diego's a good person. I know you said you take a call from him, um, and, and I've been talking to him as well because I had him on the podcast. I actually had him on the podcast right before all this broke, and then Fabia came in like an hour into the podcast, and I swear on my life, I made a clip on the clip site. It's got a ton of views. Um, for 52 minutes, I didn't say a single word, Dana. I literally stared at the, the – like I'm looking at you right now. For 52 minutes, I didn't say a single word. He just talked shit about everything. And like along the lines of like – he even blamed Winkle John from, from Jackson Wink of giving his fighters lazy eye because he has lazy eye and he was holding pads for him. I'm telling you, it was beyond crazy. Um, so is it safe to say that the, the, the big – one of the big problems with the, the dispute with De uh, Diego and the UFC is from Fabia? I mean, like now that Fabia is gone, is there, is there a chance that, that we might see Diego again or would you give him another chance if, if he comes back to you? Because he, he, he cares about you a lot. I mean, I've talked to him and like he – you know, he, he was just mixed up with the wrong guy. That, that's basically I what agree. happened. I agree. Listen, Diego and I have always had a great relationship and – you know, Diego was never one of those needy kind of guys that you always had to talk to and you always had to, you know, when he needed something, he'd ask. When he didn't, he did his thing. Would always fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. Ended his career with us with a decent showing. You know, it wasn't like, you know, all oh, the kid lost four in a row, five in a row. I had to let him go. You know, Diego Sanchez was still holding his own. Um I don't know. I, I don't know. I I felt like <clears throat> when he asked me for his last fight that I shouldn't have because it's time. Yeah. It was time for him to probably retire. But at the same time, he was still doing well. It's not like he was getting blown away by people. Right. Um. I don't know. That's that's a tough one for me. But, you know, if Diego needed anything from me, all he's got to do is pick up the phone and call. He also comes from a really good family. Diego Sanchez, his parents are two of the nicest people you could ever hope to meet. Always there for him in the beginning of his career, you know. So... 
And let me just ask you really, really fast, um, just because one of the allegations was that Diego threw a fight. I know that's a huge, huge deal, and, and that's a big allegation to put on a, a promotion, and it's very, very illegal. What can you do as a promotion to somebody who cast a shadow on an organization by saying that, that an illegal fight could have possibly happened, like a fake fight or something like that, after you, I know personally, have spent so much time uh, trying to get away from that and proving that, that the UFC is not a spectacle, uh, is not fake, is not pro wrestling, um, to have someone sit there and say, hey, I'm, I've been with Diego for two years or three years, whatever. I know he threw a fight and it was fake, blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Can you do anything about that for him saying that and damaging that reputation? I don't think he does. That guy's such a fucking goofball that, I mean, I don't know how anybody, seriously, if you take anything that that guy says serious, you know, you should be fucking beat with a stick, okay? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like if the source was somebody that was even remotely credible, yeah, I would probably... I, when I tell you, Mike, I could give a flying fuck what that guy says. Yeah. That I guy agree. is an absolute fucking goofball. I yeah. mean, I think the kid is mentally ill. Yeah, he is. So, should I fire up the lawyers for a mentally ill fucking goofball and you know what i mean it's just a complete waste of time so no if, if you agree to fight de la hoy and, and it was the fight was going to happen would you rather have uh fabia in your corner or jake paul if you had to have one jake paul <laughs> <laughs> yeah all, all right. day i had to ask